All right, so we're in Tinkercad and we're going to make some cookie cutters with this. Now what you're going to do is you need to look for a shape that you want to make with this to go ahead and build your cookie cutter. Um, you can make whatever kind of shape you want to. I'm going to show you how to make some basic ones with this and then uh, you can go ahead and add some extras with it. And at the end I'll show you how to add a few other little things to it if you want to change it around a little bit. So on the basic shapes you have box and cylinders and all the rest going kind of going through. You can see some of the things are here with this. Mine has a heart in it. Yours won't come with heart in it. I'm going to show you how to add it in at the end of this video. Um, basic shapes also, I also have extras as well here which go through like eggs and egg holes. Um, we also have symbols going through here and in symbols is a star so I'm going to pull the star over because that's what we're going to use. The size we're going to make these, I'm going to make it at about, um, I'm going to bring my bottom layer I want it to be about 65 centimeters or 65 millimeters, which is 6.5 centimeters. So I'm going to make my bottom layer a little bit bigger with, I'm going to make my bottom layer about 72 because I want to have a bit of a lip on the bottom. So this is the first one I'm making. I'm going to bring it over here to the kind of the middle of the part here with it. And uh, I'm going to bring uh, the bottom of this down. Sorry, I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to make it down to about two millimeters because this is my bottom lip on the bottom and going through. So once I have this done, uh, this is my again this is my bottom so I'm looking with this so my size I'm looking at on this if I click on the on the actual hold down my shift key when I'm doing my stretching out remember when you're doing that out is 70 by 73 so this would works good for my bottom layer um, I have two ways now I can duplicate this I can hold down my control key and I can go control D or I can go up here and use the the duplicate on the actual uh, Tinkercad itself so I'm going to go control D with my keyboard that's now been controlled and moved over there with it. So I'm going to move this over a little bit on the other side. You can see what I'm doing with this. So I now have the two stars here, one here and one here. This is my second star. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller because I want to have the inside of this with it. So right now I'm 70. I'm going to bring it down to about 67. Actually probably about 60, 66, 65. So 65 on the one side. So it works for that. And I'm going to bring the height of this up to about 15. So I can see with that because it's going to be at 1.5 centimeters and that's a pretty good size when I'm looking at actual cookie cutters. So I'm going to put the two of these together. I'm going to choose my first one. I'm going to hold down my shift key, choose my second one and go up to here and I'm going to pick a line. And what this does is this gives me different ways I can align here with the two of them together now. So I'm going to bring them both into the center and I'm going to bring them both into the center. And at that part, now you can now see I now have my cookie cutter with my base along the bottom. Don't need much of a base, just a little bit of all the way around. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the two of them here with it and I'm going to group these. And again, you can use your keyboard for this. You can go Control G with this or you can go up here and you can go to group. Now this is now all one piece. Now I'm going to actually ungroup because I went a little bit too quickly with this. So I went because I just want to do just the top one here with it. So I need to actually make another star because I have to make a hole in here to be able to get the other part with this. So I'm going to control D to, to uh, give me my actual star again here with it. But this is still going through with the whole thing. So I don't want that. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to go to here because I don't want to. I'm going to ungroup this. I'm giving just my top star here is what I'm looking for. Control D and that should move me over for my star. There we go. So there's my whole star now that I'm going to be looking for. Oh, yeah, I'm going to undo. And I'm going to put this in right here back to group this again. Control G to group that. And there we go. There's my actual cookie cutter starting with this. So this is the hole now that I'm going to do. So now, now what I want to do with this, I need to make sure that I have at least one millimeter for my lines going around the outside, from the edges around the outside when I'm printing. Because with a 3D printer, if you go any lower than one millimeter, the line, the wall is going to fall apart. There's not enough strength to it. So I want it to be a good thickness here with it. So if I'm looking at this, I have 65. So I'm going to bring this down to about 60. When I'm going inside here and that will give me six centimeters on the inside with it so that's that part. I'm going to change this into a hole because that's what I want it to be and again I'm going to do the same thing I did with the last one. I already have this one right here chosen. I'm going to go over to here to choose this one right here too and I'm going to go up here to align and I'm going to go to my center and I'm going to go to my center and going through here now I may have to, because I didn't make the other one very tall with it, so I may have to, I'm going to just undo this for just a second. Going on center, undo, undo. Okay, I'm going to go through here and I'm going to 
just choose out to here. I'm going to go here. I want to make this one right here quite a bit bigger with it so that when it comes together, I'm able to actually see where it is with it. So back to here again. I'm going to go back to my align. I'm going to go back to center and back to center. And you can see as I'm going through this with it, there's my edges around the outside. They're not going to be overly thick with it, but I think they may be actually okay. But you can actually go through and you can look with it and go, you know what, I think I'd like a little bit bigger. So I'm going to choose my my inside one here, this one right here, and I'm going to click off here. I'm going to choose my inside star, and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller again, even, even smaller. Now I'm going to bring it down to about 56. So again, you're going to choose this one, hold down your shift key, get the bottom one underneath there, do the alignment again, middle and middle, and right there you can see I've got definitely got some better walls going on here. But unfortunately with the shapes as they go through, sometimes you have some walls that are really good and some walls that are not because it's just in how it actually shapes down with it. So you may have to do a little bit of tinkering with this, kind of zoom it in there with it. It's actually not too bad. So at this point, let's go through here and we're going to join these up with this. Choose the inside star and the outside star again holding down the, the um, shift key on both go control G to group them you want to have it open all the way through so you want to make sure you go all the way down the bottom so you can see here is my cookie cutter for so going through with that you can have a look around how it looks now before you save this you want to go in here and go cookie cutter star and put your first name here too so we know who this belongs to when it comes into the files. So you can go cookie cutter, you can go, um, you can call it, uh, so for you remember what it is, for when you're naming it you can just go CC for cookie cutter and then whatever shape it may be or you can go cookie cutter star uh, Mrs. O. Mrs. O. So we know that that's my cookie cutter when it comes into me for the file as it's being saved out. Now, the other thing I want to show you here is what if you don't want to do a star, you want to do a different shape with it. In Tinkercad, you can also go through, there's the extras here with it. There is your favorites. You can actually go to here to the featured shape generators um, under the community. And in this right here, you're going to see different shapes that are here along with it you can use. So there's a few different shapes that are in here you can go with. Um, some of them may not be as easy, like the gear one would be kind of cool, it would work with that. But if you wanted to do like a heart with it, you could actually go in and do uh, community shape generators. And it will bring up different shapes with that as well. And in here is where you will find, you should find the heart one, I believe it's in the community shape. It may actually be in the, it used to actually be in the actual shapes, but they've moved it around since they've changed it around with what's going on. So you'll have to have a look through the shape generators to find the heart one if that's the one you want to do um, and go through and make it. The big key is to remember that you need to make sure your, your lines on your, on your walls are thick enough as you're going through it and you've got this little bit of a ridge. Now here's the other thing. If you want to do something, like let's say you want to do, I'm going to go back here to my shapes, my basic shapes, and I'm going to go here to my cylinder. So let's say you decide you want to do a, I'm going to just make this right here down smaller, I don't need quite that big. You want to do like a happy face. So you've done the part with that and we've got our, our bottom part here. I'm going to do this right here first just quickly. Bring that down to a two, two, one, two. Okay, and then I'm going to go control D to duplicate that. Move that part over there. See how big this one right here is. Move it over this way again. Remember this is all part of the steps we're going to go through with this. I'm going to bring this down to about a 70. I'm going to bring this right here up to about a 63. Okay, because that's going to be, uh, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than that, 65. So sure, 66 works. We can do 66. I'm going to bring this up to a 15. 15. Okay, so I'm going to go through here. I'm going to collect this over again. We've already walked through this as well already. Uh, middle, the middle. Okay, good. Before I group it, I'm going to grab the top one. I'm going to go Control D again because I only want to have just the top one copied over. Okay, I'm going to go in here. I want to go Shift and grab the bottom one here. I'm going to group this one right here. Control G for grouping. I'm going to go to this one right here. I'm going to make it down probably down about a 62. Make that a hole. Do the grabbing and shifting. Align that over middle, middle, but the one thing I forgot to do again on this, I'm going to undo again, and it's going to be something you're going to want to remember to do, is you need to make sure that this one right here 
before I do anything else with it, that it's up high enough so you're going to be able to see it when you put them together. Because otherwise what's going to happen is it's going to basically float into the other one you're not going to be able to find it. So you want to just be able to do this, aligning and aligning. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to click off here with it. We're going to go there to there, and I'm going to group it up again. And there we go, there's my cookie cutter. Now let's say I want to make this into a happy face cookie cutter. So right now I have a circle here with it. What I can do with that, because I can't just drop in, I can't just take a cylinder over to here and do this and then make my smaller eye with it. Okay, I can't just leave this here in the middle here because it's got nowhere to print when it goes into doing the actual cookie cutter. So what I'd have to do at this point is I'm going to have to put a bar in here. So I would take my box across here and I would make, I would bring this down, I would flatten it down to about a two again, going down with that, down to a two, and I would shift, shift my bar across this way, which would be the length of the actual cookie cutter itself. So I'd make sure it's going through this way, watching where it's going to come out in the sides. We should be good with that. You may want to bring one side with it and then move my bar this way. Now when you're doing this part with the cookie cutter coming in and the extra pieces with this, you want to remember how tall is this one as I'm going through it because as I'm going through this, how tall is this? It's 15. This needs to be down to about um, about two millimeters at least down below because the cookie cutter, this part right here is going to cut the cookie. I don't want actual holes put in the cookie for the um, for the faces and the rest. I just want the design put on the actual dough. So this needs to be a little bit lower going on the inside when you're putting that extra part on there. You do not have to do the extra inside when you're doing it. This is just more for suggestions for you add a little bit more design to your cookie cutters. So that